Did you record? Oh, actually, I don't record. It is recorded. Oh, okay. Right? You see those right? Yes. Yeah. So, first of all, we know it's a rhyming poem. So, for identity, I put that the identity. Okay, guys, let's listen to your the identities that I think about most often would be race, ethnicity, and gender roles, which is why I which is why I use this because it actually talks about all of them being a black woman, like at the time when he was doing uh what's the book? Parable and sower overcoming by sexism too. So yeah, I did that for race, ethnicity, and gender roles. So yeah, and then the ethnic et the identities that I have the strongest of effects would be race, ethnicity, and gender. Yeah. So, and um, the identities that I want to learn more about would be the physical, um, physical, emotional, developmental, and disability abilities, because we didn't touch too much on that one. So, I would like to you know, learn more about that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So the child, the most challenging skill to master was characterization for this one because I really did not know what questions to use for it. So basically, I would just say how it got it all characterized, and I know that's not the theory I should have for. But yeah, but yeah, I'm working on that. So, yeah. so the new knowledge that has been most trans transformative for me would be watching your back and thinking before you act because I know that I don't do that. I did not think before I act on the those things. So I learned that, and then it will be, it's in here, and then in here, that's where the evidence is. Yeah. So for criticality, I had like it in different places. So the first one would be Act 1, Scene 1, Act 1, Scene 3, and Act 3, Scene 4. And do we have to explain? Yeah. Okay. So for the first one, Act One, scene, it's somewhere. It's one of these. Okay. So I was practicing equity, and I had a new understanding that uh, you should ride for someone, like someone that you trust is gonna ride for you. And so for uh, oppression, which is right here, that was for the injustice that was done to King Mac King Duncan from Macbeth because like that's the like too close, not closer, but like someone that you respect and stuff killed him. And so the last one for power would be Macbeth's cowardness to have somebody else do it for him that he can't do it himself. So yeah, he's just a coward. So, yeah. so my most proud assignment would be um, Acts 4 scenes one to two because that's the one that I got the most points for like out of all of them. like. Because I did a lot more and I have more time, I guess, and I had a lot more connections and stuff to it. So I put a lot more annotations on it. So the assignment that needs the most improvement would be Acts 3 scenes, Act 3 scenes 5 to 6, because it was incomplete and I procrastinated, so I wasn't able to finish. And procrastination is a big thing for me. So I'm not I'm not able to always finish my work with that. But next time I'll write some more annotations if you have that next year. So what helped me would be the loop work. And I like that we watched the movie. And then when the homework was spaced out. So basically the group work with people that like actually want to do work. The actually people that want to, you know, actually put their, their butts into the work so that it's not like one or two people doing more of the work because that didn't help. But yeah, we're not gonna talk too much on that. And then the movie, I like that we watched the movie because we was able to relax and you know just chill, you know, do a little bit of questions and stuff. And that was it. And then when the homework was spaced out, I wasn't having to just wait till it all came down and stuff. So basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the cover letter. <laughs> That's evaluation. The feedback that I worked on would be being able to put more effort into the work and not procrastinating. Because procrastination to me, for this one especially, was a big one because I didn't even finish all the due date. And I had to rush the next morning just to make sure that I came to put it and give it to you. Give it to you. So, yeah. And also, for the um, something that I also worked on was actually putting effort into it because I wasn't doing so good. Like, I would do 
just wanted to. But now, I'm doing good. I'm doing better than before. Let's say you're doing good, Ben. Go ahead and own that. Yeah. So the goals for my sophomore year would be to stop procrastinating. And I know that it's not going to all just completely stop. I'm going to have to do slow by slow by slow. So, yeah. And then the next one would be for me to make time for myself to do my homework and stuff so that I'll be able to finish my homework. And the last goal of mine is to have a better mindset and not go into homework with bad energy and stuff. So, because that was a big thing for me this year. So, I'm going to make sure that I get all that stress out and I do good this year. I mean, next year. Well, you know what I'm saying. So what I've learned about myself working on the cover, the cover letter is that I should not rush things and procrastinate because that, like I said, that was not a good thing. So now, shut up. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah, because that could, hurt, that could hurt my grade. So yeah. And then I've also learned that I should be more successful. I'm, I'm able to be more successful when I put when I pace myself to do better. And I think when I have that good energy in my mind to do better. And I've also learned that I should do better on my work, like putting a whole, bit, a whole lot more effort than I do before. Because if I don't put effort, then how do I expect to do great? So I expect to do better. I expect for me to do better on my work. So, yes. So what feedback do we have for Nicole? Grow, glows and grows. <laughs> She's expressive. She's expressive.